हेलो वेलकम बैक टू डिफेंस इन फो वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल योर डिफेंस नीड जॉइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल डिफेंस इन फो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वारी टू शेयर यू कैन शेयर इट ऑन आवर ई मेल आई डी दैट इज डिफेंस इन फो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट द रेट सो ऑल द लिंक इज अवेलेबल ऑन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉस so friends let us get started so first we will going to discuss about the exam analysis of the fcat 01 2023 and this analysis is a uh, research based and it is a most expected cut off that i will going to discuss and friends i will be also discussing about normalization so uh, friends first begin with a very important notice is that currently a new disease or a new anger is going in the youtube platform so uh, where everybody is claiming that they are scoring 200 plus especially those who have studied from the most trusted youtube platform and almost all questions were same as it is that you got in the exam as claimed by most trusted uh, coaching youtube platforms so friends uh, these uh, coaching uh, platforms are doing exceptionally well no doubt but what happened that those who are scoring 200 plus those who are claiming uh mostly get vanish after the declaration of the result so this translation of new disease or new anger is up to you friends how well you can translate this thing and before and friends let make it more simple that uh, the this year's fcat examination is more towards the moderate side so i will discuss more on that first i will begin with the normalization method so in simple term in the previous analysis i have also discussed say for a tough shift the average score is 125 and say for a easy uh, easiest shift the average is a uh, 165 marks so how to normalize it definitely so the mid number between the 125 and 165 is 145 so 125 marks wala candidate will get 20 grace marks and 165 wala candidate will get negative 20 in order to normalize this score so this is a very simple way to understand you uh so let us tell you, uh, let us you know discuss more on normalization so first uh how this normalization take place and who get benefited so two factors generally been checked highest scorer in that shift and average score of the shift so uh the candidate who score highest in that shift and say the average score of that shift based on do, these two parameter the calculation of normalization take place and you can see the total formula available on the website of cdac fcat uh, you can check it the formula but formula is very complicated better thing that you need to understand that this normalization have two effect either it will give you advantage or either it will give you disadvantage so uh, first Uh, let me show you how it can give you advantage and how it can you give you disadvantage so left hand of the screen you can see a candidate who was sitting on the 27th august 2020 wala shift in the morning so this candidate got 139 marks and by god grace he got 20 plus uh, 20.15 marks grace as per uh, as per as normalization uh, rule and he able to clear the cut off so cut off was 157 and finally the normalized score was 159.15 and he able to secure the cut off whereas in the right side you can see friends there is a candidate who secure 159 marks but his normalized score is 156.18 so uh, he got he was not benefited in fact uh, because of this normalized marks he was not able to clear the fcat and uh, you can see friends there are two way uh, you can uh, see uh, in this two way that the candidate may get advantage of the normalization or may not uh, even there was some shift which were easy but still candidate got very good uh, grace marks and there was one shift which was difficult but still the grace marks was ma between 5 uh, to 6 marks so it has adverse effect and it can it can also give you benefit so it depend on your luck but one thing is in your hand is the marks that you have secured in the paper so uh, let me tell you in more in brief so this year paper tends to be the same as we trace from the previous year fcat paper so it was more on the moderate side if we compare all over shift see this time i have not uh, distinguished different shift uh, like the uh, all the six shift because i find the each shift has some level of difficulty some 
देर वॉज जी के पोर्शन वॉज डिफिकल्ट इन सम इंग्लिश पोर्शन सम वो कैब्स वर डिफिकल्ट इन सम देर वॉज रीजिंग अ बिट ट्रिकी और सम मैथ्स वॉज मोर कैलकुलेटिव इन नेचर सो इन ईच एंड एवरी शिफ्ट यू विल फाइंड सम ऑ दी अदर सम लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी सो आई हैव डिस्कस विथ ऑल the other aspirants and after general overview of the paper i find that it traces the same uh, same difficulty what we got in the previous time so if we are getting uh, if we analyze the same difficulty that we are tracing from the uh, previous paper then we can also conclude that the cut off will also remain the in the between of 153 to 157 as compared as we if we holistically analyze the last four year but last four year the cut off white remain between 153 to 157 it is because the last three time it went 157 and if we analyze the paper mostly we will find that uh, fcat is generally clearing around one th- uh, around 12000 candidates 12000 to 15000 candidate and to clear this candidate in order to clear those candidate they are taking the average marks and that is 150 around only so this is the reason and let me discuss my expected cut off so this is my expected cut off analysis is that 154 to 162 marks that is 158 plus minus 4 so i think as per my analysis as per my calculation this uh, score will be going to be remain in that in this between this uh, corner only so you don't need to get uh, any type of uh, fear if you are scoring uh, 165 plus as per your calculation and let me tell you if you thinking that you will score definitely 190 marks then start preparing it is because generally the uh, your expected and your reality score d- differ in the fcat marks it differ around 20 to 25 marks and this is from my personal experience so friends if you are getting if you are very uh, very much confident that you are getting 162 plus then start preparing for it so friends this was all if you like this video do share this video among your friends subscribe the channel and if you have any query to share email us on defenseinfo2020@gmail.com so friend stay tuned and stay updated